age you you finish or you stop playing basketball? Uh, I think the way I prepare and take care of my body, I think I can play until I'm 40. But, wow. you know, my kids are in the USA and they're getting older, so I'm not sure how much longer I'll do it. Let's say mashallah. Like mashallah. Yeah. Mashallah, yes. Mashallah. mashallah. <laughs> but I to stay in Ali, inshallah. Insha no, inshallah is another thing. I hope. Thing. It's I hope, right? Yes, like so I hope. So to stay yes. in Ali, yes. I hope. But mashallah, we say it when like it's a we good say thing. a very good thing, we yeah. say mashallah. Yeah, yes? but I hope to stay in Ali, so <laughs> inshallah. Tell me some Arabic words you learned here in Egypt. Inshallah, mashallah, yalla, yalla, okay. Uh, rekis, rekis, uh, yes. tamam. Was it uh, amdule? Is that how you say? Amdule, amdule, uh, shukran. Like thanks God. Yeah, hmm. that's about it. I know the basics, hmm. so yeah, I know a little bit. I have to learn more, but okay. as you see, it's very <laughs> difficult for me. <laughs> who, t who tells you a lot, uh, rekis? Who tells you Rakiz in the team? The coaches say this to, to the team. So Agosti, Mr. Agosti Bush says Rakiz to the, to Gari, the players in the Gari match. Gari and, and Rami. Uh, to Garhi and uh, Rami. Rami. They say it, you know, just when we're doing training, if guys okay. aren't, you know, focused. He tell, he tell them Rakiz, Rakiz. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And so now I say it to players, like, to have fun as a joke. <laughs> also, yes. there's uh, another Arabic words you learned or only these, only the basics? The only the basics. Yani, if I asked you to say a full sentence in Arabic. That would no. be very very difficult. I don't think I can do it. No, huh? No. I got to okay. learn it. You got to teach me. I will teach you, but after the, tra the interview. Okay. 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 So let's play now a game. We have three cards. Okay, three okay. cards. Okay. The first one, the yellow card. The second one, the red card. And the last one, the green card. Green card. Okay. okay. Uh, the first one, the yellow card, if I asked you to give the yellow card, like in the matches, to give the yellow card to a player <laughs> or a phenomenon, yeah. you want to give this, this yellow card like a warning yeah. to the person or to the player in sports in general. The yellow card, I would give it to Amr Zaran. Amr Zaran, okay. I, it's Why? a joke. I always <laughs> tell him that he fouls me in practice, so I would give it to him. He would understand the joke. But okay. he plays, like we talked about, he plays very physical, he plays hard. Mm. He's a great player and he helps our team. But the yellow card I would give to him and he to would Amr understand. Zara. Yes, okay. he would understand. <laughs> <laughs> the red card. It's not like a warning, but you want to stop immediately. Yeah. Um, like something someone made or you want to give the red card to a person, also to a phenomenon that you want this phenomenon to stop yeah. immediately. And for basketball. In sports or in basketball? Oh, like perfect. Oh, in sports, I would say the criticism that athletes receive, and that's in all sports. I mean, at the end of the day, they're human beings. Okay. They have families. Sometimes players are sick. Mm -hmm. They have things going on outside of, you know, their profession and their field that mm -hmm. can sometimes affect how they play. Mm -hmm. So if I can uh, give a rare card to a phenomenon, I would say the criticism that athletes the criticism. receive. Okay. The last one, mm -hmm. the green card. Yeah. You want to give the green card um, to also a person who you want to support or a phenomenon also that you want to support it and you want it to continue. Green card. I would give it to my boy Mohibi. Mohibi. Yes, okay. 